brother, brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of Jay vs. Ben Martin Celebration of Wakanda Forever. We are taking on what is destined to be one of the harder quizzes we've ever done on Jay vs. Ben. But we are taking on a quiz master generated black Panther quiz. Yeah, this is this this absolutely stands to be difficult. There's a lot of like those like African based words yeah. that are just kind of like hard to like store purposefully. Yeah, I'm like, I feel not like, like used to remembering them. Right. So it's like when I watch the movie, I'm never like, what do they just say? It's like I get it completely. Like like it it flows perfectly, but. But whether or not I can pull them off the top of my head is a completely different story. Yeah, I'm prepared to be mispronouncing, misremembering, and definitely misspelling a lot of African sounding things in this episode. Yeah. There's not a lot of people named Ant Man in this <laughs> one. <laughs> well, we'll see how we do. Here we go. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. We have 15 questions, all of which have been submitted by our quiz masters over on Patreon. They're going to be read to us today by our editor, Ethan, who is on the other end of the camera. Ben right. and I are going to have to remember all of them completely by memory, but if we both agree we have no idea, we can get the multiple choice. If you'd like to play along, there is a link in the description down below. Good luck. What is the over under on how many times we ask, ask for the multiple choice today? Four and a half. Four, four and a half. Meaning there will be one instance where I want it and you don't need it. You always, there's, always a, there's always a half point on over under. So that someone can choose four or five. Things I didn't know about how over unders worked. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> What's the money line on this one, Jay? What's the money line? I don't know. <laughs> it's obviously 7.357. The, the spread, five, seven. The spread the is J by three. All right, can yeah. I cover? Does that mean that in order to win, you have to win by That means if you, three? in order to win the bet, I have to win by three or more. Wow. Yeah. Actually, I guess that would make the spread two and a half. We should really start some underground J versus Ben. As if oh, I haven't been doing this. Who's to say it doesn't happen? Yeah, yeah Ethan's side gig <laughs> is managing the, the underground <laughs> J versus Ben betting ring. Right, yeah. The, what are the yeah. biggest odds? At the Jalgachi Casino. Oh yeah, hey, that's a good one. There you go. That's a, that's a $5 word for you from <laughs> South Korea. Yeah. Woo! Busan. Busan, South Korea. Oh boy, let's go. Question number one. This question was submitted by Dola and Michaela Henry. Who challenges T'Challa at his coronation? Okay. I got this one. I make no promises on spelling of anything. Ben, what do you think the over under is on us knocking down these bobbleheads? <laughs> <laughs> How many? At least four and a half. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going minus 500. <laughs> minus. No, it has to have a half. Yeah, exactly. Right? It, it can't does. be minus 500. No, it doesn't. I've just learned this about how. Well, I don't. I don't remember where the where the big numbers go. Like in what sort of betting, but like minus 500 means it's almost certain to happen. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. Well, then that. Oh, I, I just looked at your screen. Wow. I think I had the same answer anyway. Three, two, one. Mbaku. Mbaku. Oh yeah, that's correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I, know. I was like, there's no way if that's wrong, we are so screwed. You guys like, just I was you like, guys just said it so confidently. I was like, they know, they know that's right. Yeah. 100%. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Th that definitely gave me uh My bad. Like a, a big old Yeah, no, it's, old worry, it's in Baku. Right? Yeah, you're you're great. You guys are doing great. Thanks. One for one. One for one. My bad. Play that ding again just for good measure. <laughs> you just said it so confidently. I was like, they know. Number two. This question was submitted by Adam Algishi and Justin Jump. What advice does Okoye give T'Challa before he jumps out of the plane at the start of the movie? Oh my goodness gracious. What advice? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Think back, think back, get in the moment. Cause it's like, it's like a running gag, I feel like. Right, right? is it like, is it like this? And um, he's like, Anta always or something. He has some sort of good one line quip. And then he jumps. <laughs> this, this this can't possibly be what it is, but I, I want to be like with at least within the ballpark without using multiple choice. That's my hope. That's my hope. For what it's worth, in case you guys want like into my strategy, it's like when it comes down to it, we all know I'm not gonna win. So as long as as long as you know that like I'm close, does that win me like it's like some? What's the opposite of brownie points? Like crowdy points? Okay. Some crowdy points. I want I some crowdy know. points. <clears throat> I guess this get is crowdy guess. people. I'm not gonna get it right. Okay, three, two, one. I said, don't get caught. I said, don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. <laughs> 
You were a lot closer, Ben. Oh, man. Uh, technically, the, so the full quote is just don't freeze when you see her. Don't freeze. Oh, but don't, don't, don't freeze don't is what we were looking for. Because then he sees her and he's like, I. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is really close. Nakia. Hi. So you were, you were way closer. So I got some crowdy points? You got some crowdy points in that one. Okay, I'll take, I'll take I'm gonna, the crowdy points. I'm gonna keep a pack of scythers on hand to start throwing them at you. <laughs> Every time you, you get go. close. You've gotten 50% of the questions right so far. Cool. Hey, that's like minus 500 odds, I think. <laughs> I don't know how bad it I works. think we're sitting at 500. <laughs> this is, it's a good thing I don't bet because I would really not know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you lost, that'll be $1 million, please. And it's like, good. excuse I, me. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> they don't take money from I, you if you lose. <laughs> I just thought I bought a lottery ticket. <laughs> I didn't realize you there was a way you could lose a million dollars. You don't get a bill for the Powerball. <laughs> it's called taxes. You did such a bad job on randomly selected numbers that we are billing you for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you had no control, but these numbers, bad, yeah. bad, bad. bad. Not even close. Yeah. Every lottery has you one winner won and the one negative loser. Lottery would, okay, would that not be the most interesting thing? Is the person who is the absolute furthest from the winning numbers is penalized. Oh, right. here's, <laughs> so like, here's the winning numbers, and now for the losing numbers. Yeah. <laughs> oh how no. Many, how many people would it prevent from participating? It's like, you have, cause you have <clears throat> lottery chances of winning, which is basically next to none, and lottery chances of being the one person who now owes the government yeah. $3 billion. Exactly. I mean, it could be like, you owe, now owe the government $50, and I don't think I would pay. Oh yeah, I, like, yeah, I don't yeah, think I would play I'm, at that I'm point. Sorry. Yeah. I, I disagree with this. Yeah. Yeah. Question number three. This question was submitted by Amelia. What was Stan Lee's cameo in the film? Oh man, I meant to look this up. Stan Lee's cameo. Oh, uh, it's been so long. Since I we don't need like a name or anything. Just like what? What was he doing? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Like what, what was activity he, was he right. doing? Right. Yeah. What's his What's his uh, jam in this one? What is his jam indeed? What's what yeah. is his jam? Raspberry. <laughs> That's a Harry Potter joke. Um, it's not gonna help me here. What is Pretty obvious. Stanley Lee? It's good Stanford up too in this one. Um, I have a guess. You're not getting it. points with these nicknames, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting points with somebody. Some crowdies. Stan the man. Oh boy, let's see. Cause I feel like I have a fan. This is a fun fact. When yeah. I went to college, I bought a fan from the brand Stanley. Yeah. And I named it Stanley the Fanley. Yeah. Still own it to this day. Wow. It was the first thing I bought for my dorm room. Man. Was a was a extremely directional fan. Wow. I was the only Sounds useful. I was the only kid who had one. I had two <coughs> outlets on the side. Very useful. Wow, yeah. You plug it in, but you could plug other things into it. Exactly. So I bet you didn't get any like fire safety hazards for that. Yeah. No, yeah. Not that. The giant aquarium that I put in my dorm room, I did get in trouble for that. Yeah, but that's not a fire hazard. I mean, there's water right there. Yeah, it, it, the it opposite of a fire hazard. Opposite no, of okay. a fire hazard. It becomes when a water fire hazard. hits electricity, it's fine, because it just puts the fire right out. It puts, Everyone it puts knows the fire it. right out. It puts it right out. That's how electrical fires that work. That is how outlets work. I'm stalling, because I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Think. Um, I'm just going to say... Have you already locked in an answer, Ben? Oh, I did. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. I've just been sitting here. I've just been sitting here ever since we said jam. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I'm. I have an answer. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Gambler. Jambling. Wow. As it were. And Correct. And what? Yes. Yes. I was like. Yeah. I was like. Okay. He's nowhere in Wakanda, and there's very few opportunities for there to just be like a random white guy in this movie. Yeah. Look, the whole theme of this episode is just gambling. That episode was a game. That question. I was like. Was how, a I was like, if not for the previous conversation, I would have had no idea. <laughs> like I was literally aided by our Powerball talk. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Question number four. This question was submitted by Dola. What vibranium item do Killmonger and Claw steal from the Museum of Great Britain? I said the word museum badly. The Museum um, of Great Britain. Oh, it's like... It's I don't know how like technically correct it needs to be, but I do know, I do know, I'll draw a picture. I would say fairly broad will be fine. Um. It looks like this. It's like, you know. <laughs> when you say broad, <laughs> can I get the general category? 
Category will probably not do it. Okay. But it depends on what you mean by category. Weapon. <laughs> that won't do it. In general terms, it was weapon. weaponry. <laughs> that will not do it. That's not going to do it. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm really between whether or not it was like a more of a spear or more of like a tomahawk kind of situation. You know? <laughs> List three things you know about Black Panther. One. There are three things you can know about Black Panther. <laughs> People can know at least three things. <laughs> That's true. Oh my gosh. It's like, or is it more of like a, like a, <clears throat> I'm going to say it's like a, okay. That's my answer. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said hatchet. I said a, yeah, like yeah, a, like a, like a <laughs> like a weapon. The answer we were looking for was axe. Oh, so, yeah. Hatchet. Yeah. yeah. That's like, oh, yeah. Man. You have the word axe there. I have the word, right? yeah, pickaxe. That's that's I, down to, that's down to I, the judge. I don't know. Jay just said give rules. it, so. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Because. You were too specific. Too specific. You right, picked yeah. a type of axe. And, well, it yeah. seems I, like. I went for all, anything that falls under axe category. <laughs> anything. <laughs> Subsection of weapon category. <laughs> I just felt, I felt like it could have just as easily been like a piece of mining equipment. You I was know? pretty sure it was a weapon. All right, we got question number five, and I will be shocked if you guys get this one wrong. This question was submitted by Wesley Walker. Where was the casino T'Challa tries to intercept Claw located? How specific? More than, more than country, technically. City? It doesn't matter. If you got, got it, I mean, according to the multiple choice, no, country will do it, basically, but... Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three, yeah. two, one. Busan. It is Busan, South Korea. Yes. Boom. No, I, man, you said South Korea, and I was like, did I write South Carolina? <laughs> Busan, <laughs> like, South wait, Carolina. Let me, let me check it. I meant South Korea. <laughs> Listeners, for reference, they were listing the things they knew about Black Panther before we started this video, and that was one of them. Yeah, so. there you go. That was one of the things that we do. Busan. Which I, the I way I always like remember is it's not Bhutan. Which was what you did your eighth grade country report exactly, on. Exactly, exactly. So thank you, eighth oh, grade man. world G. Question number six. This question was submitted by Agent Krakow. What branch of the military did Everett Ross serve in before becoming a CIA agent? Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, he's the CIA yeah, agent. Yeah, That's no, not the military. You no, you definitely know this one. There's no doubt. Also, you just basically have like a like a one in four shot. So, mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one in five technically. What? Yeah. Okay. I don't uh, think he was in the Coast Guard. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised that there's like a reason that you would think it's obvious. I'm surprised you don't think there's a reason it's obvious. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Air Force. It is indeed the Air Force. Because he like flies the jet at the end. Ah, uh, he flies the jet at the end. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. He does. That was the thing that made me think it was obvious. He <laughs> does fly a jet at the end, <laughs> yeah. which would make it obvious. Yeah. I was just trying to think like, for whatever reason, I, Martin Freeman just seems like I could just see him in that like classic camo. You know? That's well, because of Sherlock. Sherlock. Yeah. He's in the army. Yeah. yeah. That's why he has the cane. The yeah. Sure. Fifth North Sumble in Fusiliers. Do you want to know why I was thinking There's about a, he's army? also He's also Bilbo in the Battle of the Five Armies. Oh, yeah. so in that case. <clears throat> yes. Bilbo, however, does not wear your traditional army uniform. He doesn't. And if I recall in the books, he gets like knocked out and doesn't even get to see it. <laughs> like that happens like immediately. And they're like, all right, one page later, the battle's over. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. And Basically, you know, yeah. I feel, like, I feel like they should have put him in the traditional army clad uniform. Right, yeah, he's just know, out there with like modern American camo. Yes, yeah, stick <laughs> to the source material, okay? Question number seven. Question this question is submitted by Dola. What kind of energy does T'Challa's new suit store? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, right? I hope so. Yeah, there's really only two kinds. Three, right. two, one. Kinetic? It is kinetic. kinetic. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> There was a lot of potential to be wrong on that one. Hey, <laughs> that's, a, that's an energy <coughs> joke an right energy there. Joke. Well, on that note, I feel like I got a hit steam. It feels like it's just a good time. Oh, to, all right, you know, well. Just do that Ah, man. Ah, man. <laughs> 
Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic route, or as we sometimes call it, the mobile route. Okay, I know we've never actually called it that before, but just stick with me, okay? Because today's episode is brought to you by Mint Mobile. Look, if I've learned anything from my time and experience working with wireless internet providers is that there is just always a catch when it comes to these companies. And I say that though to preface with the fact that when it comes to Mint Mobile, there is no catch. And I know, I know that sounds contradictory because I just said, you know, that there's a catch, but I'm serious. Basically what Mint does is they offer premium wireless service for $15 a month. And the way they're able to achieve those savings is they don't have physical stores. So they pass those savings on to you. And I already know what you're saying and I hear you 100%. Well then Ben, if it's that much cheaper, then it must not be as good a service as the more expensive providers that I already work with. And to that I say, Nope, they actually provide great coverage, excellent customer service, and cheaper prices. And I can tell you that from personal experience because we here at Super Carlin Brothers use Mint Mobile. And for us, we've been blown away by the convenience and affordability of the service. And so if you're someone who just absolutely dreads your phone bill every month, then Mint Mobile might just be for you because it has that same affordable rate whether you're buying for one or the entire family. Plus all of their plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data on the nation's fastest 5G network. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and ship to your door for free, head on over to mintmobile.com slash J versus B. Again, it's going to be mintmobile.com slash J versus B. One last time, cut your wireless bill down to $15 a month when you head on over to mintmobile.com slash J versus B. Link is in the description down below. Uh, you're back early. I thought you were doing the scenic route. You can see me right now? I thought I was in incognito mode. Yeah. Dude, I don't know how to tell you this, but you might be more cognito than you've ever been. Are you kidding? I thought it was like when you go in incognito mode on your browser, you know, like you wouldn't be able to see me. Oh, well, first of all, is that how incognito works uh, on the browser? And I don't know why you thought this would make you harder to see. It says incognito. How can it be? How can you see me if it, it says incognito? Yeah, that does feel like it's how it should work. But if you like read the fine print, it you can like your activity can still be seen by like your internet provider or your school or your work. Well then, then what am I supposed to do? Well, Ben, have I got great news for you because today's sponsor is ExpressVPN. Yeah, so like all those times you've ever used the free Wi-Fi at like a cafe or a hotel or at the airport, the internet provider can like see everywhere you go and then they can like collect that data and then sell that data to advertisers. I feel like it's starting to make sense why when I was browsing in incognito mode looking for an incognito outfit, I all of a sudden started getting ads for nondescript like hats and sunglasses when I was in cognito mode. Yeah, that's because they're still collecting all your data. But the good news is now you can use the ExpressVPN app, which will encrypt all of your data and send it through a secure server so that all of your data online stays private. Oh boy, I'll sign up as soon as we're done with this quiz. You have a fun promo code for me? Absolutely we do, Ben. If you head over to expressvpn.com slash JVersB, you can start using the number one VPN and stop letting people invade your privacy online. If you head to expressvpn.com slash JVersB, you can get an extra three months free when you sign up. That sounds pretty amazing. Think you can read it one more time for me? I could probably read expressvpn.com slash jverseb for three months free when you sign up. Link in the description down below one more time. By the way, this is a hatchet. <laughs> and with that, next question, please. You gonna keep the overalls? Probably not. Yeah. No. Question number next, which is eight. This question was submitted by Michaela Henry. When meeting Killmonger for the museum heist, what was Claw's disguise? I don't really remember him having a disguise. Um, maybe I do. Like, uh... Yeah, something like this. Uh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Don Etor. I said a paramedic. Ben is correct. Oh man. Yes. That is not because I a janitor. I, I, I felt not. like there was a whole weird sequence I felt like where they go out and they get in the ambulance and like Killmonger makes out with the girl who's in the ambulance. Yeah. But then she kind of seems like like it was like a plot line that like maybe got like left over or like cut. Uh-huh. 
Do, do you guys agree with that? I like, do, do you, I remember. It's like, he's just like, It's like, yeah. who, who is that? Right. Or, like, was she supposed to have, like, a slightly bigger role? Or? I think it's just, like, another example of him just, like, <laughs> using people to get what he wants. Because eventually he goes on and, like, and then he just, like, discards her. Because, like, he kills Claw later, too. Yeah, that's true. Like, you did. Spoilers. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, sorry. If you haven't seen Black Panther 1 yet, good news. The second one comes out today. Yeah. Question number nine. Question number this nine. question was submitted by Brandon Birch Richards. What is Killmonger's father's name? Oh. I think that's right. No. Whoa. You want to try it? Yeah. I'm remembering a name. Three, two, one. Njobu. Njoku. It's Njobu. Yes! Oh! oh! Boom! Oh! So! Got it! Got it! Boom! You were one letter off. One letter off. <laughs> Which, like, if he hadn't got it, I would honestly probably give that to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would say, yeah, if, if I hadn't been so exactly perfectly correct. If he said Dave, I would have given it <laughs> yeah. to Njoku. <laughs> Oh man! Dave. Oh, that's that. That one hurts. At least it's, <clears throat> hopefully, it's raining crowdies at least. Raining crowdies over here. Uh, question number ten. This question was submitted by Agent Cracko, Dola, and Cat's dad. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Cat's dad. Oh. Mr. Kangaroo himself. Hi, <laughs> Dad. Captain Kangaroo. Where did Killmonger grow up? Got it. Got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. At least, at least this one. Hopefully. Okay. Probably. Ready? As long as it is in fact. Maple Oakland. Land. Uh, it's actually Busan, South Korea. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Oakland. <laughs> it's Busan, South Carolina. It's Busan, South Carolina. <laughs> Get your bold peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> that South Carolina thing. Bold yeah. peanuts. And shrimps and grits. Sh shrimps and grit. Singular grit. <laughs> singular grit. Many shrimps, singular grit. <laughs> Ironically, I've literally been served the exact opposite okay. ratio. One shrimp, and shrimp, and shrimp, grits. shrimp and yeah. grits. Yeah. Well, that's why they mixed it up in South Carolina, you know? You know, North Carolina. <laughs> Way different. Oh, they don't even man. serve shrimps. All right. Question number 11. Submitted by Amelia, and this is a select all that apply question. Oh boy, okay. What are the names of all the Wakandan tribes? Oh boy. Wait, select all that apply to so your Select tell all us? that apply, yes, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. A is the Jabari tribe. B is the Nzaba tribe. C is the Mafele tribe. D is the Merchant tribe. E is the Zulu tribe. F is the Border tribe. G is the River tribe. H is the fishing tribe, I is the mining tribe, and J is the farmer tribe. The There's one where I'm like, I'm not sure. Well, okay. I mean, I think I've got it, but. Okay. It's this one I'm less sure about. This right here is what I'm worried about. If I'm like, okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. I had A D F G I. I had the same. So that is a hundred percent correct. Boom. Okay. Excellent. That is a hundred percent correct. Okay. Question yeah. number twelve. This question was submitted by Andrew Buick. What tribe is Nakia a member of? All right. All right. Three, two, one. River. River. Uh, yes. Boom. For some reason, it's, it's written water tribe on here, but yes, that is, it is river tribe in the previous uh, answer. See, yes. previous question. <laughs> yeah. That would be one where we'd be like, excuse me, I have a question. Yeah. Question number 13. This question was submitted by Emily Stock, Amelia, and Agent Cracko. What is the name of the panther goddess that led the first black panther to the heart-shaped herb? You know why this one's easy to remember? Because... It reminds me of Name of the Wind. Wind. Because the name of the <coughs> Panther Goddess is... The one, the only... Bast. Bast. Like folks, That is assistant, correct. Who's probably a bad guy. Probably a bad guy. Probably Cinder. 
you ask me. In case you are interested in participating in a Name of the Wind exclusive trivia event, we're going to be hosting that for our Discord and patrons on November 18th. If you want to sign up, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the Discord tier. That's one week from today, y'all. Name of the Wind. Question number 14. This question was submitted by Adam Algishi and Denise. What is the name of the beads that Wakandans wear as bracelets? Yeah, this is right. I got it. I think I got it. We had a really, really, really ridiculous way of remembering this particular question. And it's helping. Hold on. I have, I have my, my, hold on. I have such bad handwriting. Okay. Ready? Steady? Go. Kamoyo. Kamoyo? That is correct. Yeah. That is spelled right. Yeah. Oh, yo. Kim. Oh, yo, Kim. Oh, yo. Yo, Kim. Yo, Kim. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Throughout my entire life, any of those like little weird ways of remembering things have always been the old, like, I think I passed school right. thanks to very ridiculous ways of memorizing things Right, so like if, this was, if this was a quiz, though, like, in class, you'd have been, like, everyone would have been taking it, they'd been like, right, yeah, yeah. And then you'd, see, you'd have seen Ben over at the corner, like, Kim, oh, yeah, okay, Kim, oh, yeah. That's exactly yeah. what you would have yeah. seen. I would have been like, <laughs> like all the gesticulating. Right. Yeah. It's like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> He's from Yeah, my AP, Phys <laughs> AP Physics class did this as, like, a class. So we all had our silly things that we all knew. Like, yeah. So there was just the AP exam room was just full of people like writing garbage on a piece of paper as soon as we got in there. Oh to yeah, so often when things. I was taking a test, I would like flip the paper over and be like, here's my mnemonic device. Good, that's out of my brain now. <laughs> yeah, you do not have to store it anymore. Now I have a cheat sheet. Paper. Great. Question number 15, the last question submitted by Dola. What item is T'Challa wearing when Shuri asks, what are those? Now, again, how specific? Do we we don't need to know like the African name for this no. article of clothing, right? No, but all right, it is like it is more specific than axe. It, more specific than axe? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Well, more specific probably than, as specific as axe. Okay. More specific than weapon. <laughs> I can't just write footwear. Is Correct. what you're saying? Yes. I didn't. I, I didn't want to assume that you knew it was footwear. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. I was like, now this feels like it's not. Sorry, I made that not, as complicated as possible. What type of footwear? Okay. okay sure. Okay. Three, two, one. Birkenstocks. It is. It is sandals. It is sandals. <laughs> All right. Oh, what God. are those? Oh, that's like one of my absolute favorite uh, no, moments from the first thing. Yeah. I, love, I love how happy she is about coming up with the word sneakers, too. Get it? Because <laughs> <laughs> Well, despite the odds, that ended up being a 13 to 12 victory for Jay. <laughs> I didn't cover the spread, though, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> that's too bad for all those minus 500 people out there. Yeah, I guess so. so with the 4.5. Whoever said... No, because the minus 500 was for you to knock the pops off the desk, oh and they got that. Happened. Does that mean that I missed that one question by one letter? Yeah. There was, lost, that, there, was, there, was one a, letter. there was a couple, I think, where you got it, and I didn't, too, though. Correct, but at the yeah. end of the day, yeah, you you lost by that one letter. That wow. was the that was it. The separator. I'm gonna go ahead Didn't and say by that one letter. I feel like pickaxe. If we go back and roll the tape, was closer than hatchet. What? I oh. think so. Hold on. Think? Okay, let's let's look at this. Let's look at the Ooh. object. Now then, let's see if you know what you're talking about. Huh? I would oddly call I, that a compromise between. I would letter say and it both. is between hatchet and pickaxe. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That'll hack it. Good old. So yes, Ben. Get, at the end of the day, you lost it, you by one it. letter. That'll yeah. hack it. That'll hack it. I get it. I get that'll it. That'll do. Uh, that's okay. You know what? I was expecting to lose by more, and so I'm gonna call a minus one well within my handicap. You're gonna be a rich boy. Well, they almost made it. <sighs> almost. <laughs> Someone's paying off. Ben, on the odds. <laughs> yeah, somebody Just now knock him down. <laughs> someone now owes Ben $3 billion. <laughs> yeah, right. I got someone in my ear, he's like, it's like, dude, you need to like knock, knock over. down the baubles. Oh my gosh, guys, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Yeah, did you do better than us? Did you remember all of the names? Because it's hard to remember all of them for Black Panther, but maybe it'll be even easier after tomorrow night, or well, it's tomorrow as we're recording. 
the, the episode, but Wakanda Forever comes out. How excited are you? I'm like, I'm like, this is this like this is like the the finale of Phase Four. It does. It feels know? like it feels like this is gonna be like the and Namor, you know? It's oh yeah. Like, like this, I feel like it's like the the Marvel movie event of the year, which is saying something. Okay, so I think this like the end of Phase One, which is effectively what this should be, is like end of chapter one of three, right? That's when they revealed Thanos. Now, obviously we already know Kang is in the mix, so, and he's already known to like sort of be the big bad for the whole thing, but it's like the post credit scene for this should be like, it should be. Who who needs to show, I, it, it's like- It could it be could, Doom. It could do Doom. Could do Doom, could be Fantastic Four. Could, could do be that. the X-Men. Could be X-Men. Cause it, you're like, they've sort of like, they, we already know like Wolverine Deadpool's coming. Like that's gonna be cool. Right, this is, this yeah. is the thing, like going back to like when, uh, WandaVision was on and we yeah. were like making all these like, oh my gosh, they're introducing like the really huge <clears throat> thing, like basically with like the kickstart to this phase. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna like do that like on day one, kids. Right. Kids, okay. children. Jeez. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess Namor is like the first mutant, like. That's at, sort of like his thing. We're at graduation though. Yeah, I mean, like, we're now, there. Now is the time. I think we've put in the dues. Like yeah. we've introduced a bunch of mutants now. Like maybe it's like Magneto or Professor X or something. No, they've already done Professor X. That's true. So Can they I can go? do Magneto, they can do Wolverine, they can do Cyclops, they can do anything. I want, I kind of want Doom. Let's see it, bring it on, man. Okay, that's our other question of the day. Who, who do you guys hope is introduced? And if you've already seen the movie, please no spoilers in the comments. Yeah, come on. Be respectful. We're coming forever! And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Dola, Michaela Henry, Adam Ajishi, Justin Jump, Amelia, Wesley Walker, Agent Krakow, Brandon Birch Richard, Cat's Dad, AKA Captain Kangaroo, Andrew Buick, Emily Stock, and Denise. Thank you guys all so much for your support over on Patreon. If you would like to become a quiz master, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the quiz masters tier. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to see our review of Wakanda forever, you can click this video right here. It's probably not going to be up till next week, but if you're watching this then, then it'll be right here. Otherwise, be on the lookout. It's coming soon. And until next time, bye! bye.